Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix iPhone AI not working or showing iOS 18. Apple Intelligence, AI, is a new feature available on certain iPhones. But if it's not working on your device, this guide will help you fix it. So let's dive straight in. The first issue is if you only see the Siri option in your settings, and the second is if you see both Apple Intelligence and Siri, but can't turn it on. By the end of this video, we'll have Apple Intelligence activated on your device. First, let's go over device requirements. Apple Intelligence is only available on iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 15 Pro Max, and the iPhone 16 inches series. Unfortunately, iPhone 15 non-pro, iPhone 15 plus, and any older models won't ever get this feature. So if you have one of these older models, you're out of luck. If you do have an iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max, but don't see Apple Intelligence, it's because you're on the wrong iOS version. Go back and select the iOS version to see what iOS version is installed on your iPhone right now. Let's go to Settings General and Software Update. The issue is that you're likely on iOS 18.0 or iOS 18.0.1, then you need to update to iOS 18.1 or newer. If iOS 18.1 doesn't appear, you'll need to download the beta version. To do this, go to beta.apple.com. Once you are there, sign in with your account and agree to the terms and conditions. Once you're in, tap and roll your device and then select Open Beta Updates. By doing this, you'll have access to beta updates, including iOS 18.1. However, Apple Intelligence is only officially available in the United States. But if you are outside the US and still have the feature, so here's how you can get some Apple Intelligence functions. Update to iOS 18.1 and set your Siri request language to English United States. This means you won't have to change your region, which avoids breaking services like Apple Pay. Some features, like the cleanup option in Apple Intelligence, will work, even if you're outside the US. To check if cleanup is working, you can go the Photos app on your iPhone and then select any image. Here, I have this already opened. Tab on the Edit button, and you will see the Cleanup button right there. Other features, such as recording transcripts, should also work. If you want full access to Apple Intelligence, especially if you're outside the US, you'll need to change your region to United States. You can do so by going to the setting, general, and then selecting language and region. Here, make sure your region is selected to the United States. Changing this United States makes all the features available for your phone that are available in the United States. Keep in mind that this could break Apple Pay and other services in your country. Another method is to create a new Apple ID with the US as the country or region. You'll need to sign out of iCloud to do this. To create a new Apple ID, open a browser and go to appleid.apple.com. Tap the menu icon and select Create Your Apple Account. Use your real information for the account but generate a fake U.S. address. Then sign in with your new U.S. account. Once that's done, you can access and turn on Apple Intelligence. Just be aware that this process requires signing out of your existing iCloud account, which is why I don't recommend doing this on your primary iPhone. Lastly, Apple Intelligence is rolling out gradually. In the U.S., it's already available as it was set to release in October. In the UK, it will be released in December 2024, and for other countries, it's expected to be released by mid-2025. Another reason you might not be able to use Siri and Apple Intelligence is that you haven't reserved your spot for it. As it is still in the beta program, you need to click on Join the Apple Intelligence waitlist, and you will enter in the waitlist. Once you have done that, you will see that the downloading for Apple Intelligence has begun as shown on my device. Now you just need to wait for the download, and once it's completed, you will be able to access Apple Intelligence and Siri easily. 
I hope this guide helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.